Hey guy, watching the the sunset. Welcome to Generation Gap Gamers. Volpine Pilot here, and I'm here at the Cyan Pillar. Why is it called the Cyan Pillar, you ask? Well, because it's basically a giant pillar. That is Cyan. Hello, dudes. So this is one of, this is basically my first village, actually. So I basically just claimed this village and built a giant pillar on top of it. I do have a early bedroom right here in this apartment. It's labeled with torches. If I continue down this street on the outside of the pillar, I get another row of apartments. The chicken. Hello, chicken. Yes. Oh, I'll just leave the chicken be for now. Yeah, this apartment's annotated with these creeper blocks. That's because it has a a secret entrance to to the original service rail between this village and the next. Down here, Yon Forge, Oye Ages. I used to have some chests in there, but I have since moved them all into this building, and it is now my hold. It does have a bed there as well. Cyan, just like the tower. And then I just have a bunch of chests. Still have a couple spoils from that raid that I had to deal with. Rail stuff, cobblestone, dirt, silk web. So yeah, I've got a bunch of vines growing in this building. I was trying to harvest a bunch of bunch of them, and I don't live in a, in a I live in a desert, not a swamp. So I kind of had to decide which building to put the vines in. Do oh yeah, crafting table. Just just in case you didn't know. I actually put that sign there for a reason. It's so that because I can't like get at the crafting table through the vines. But the vines don't grow where the sign is. So I can actually craft stuff without having to destroy one of the vines first. On the other side of this wall here is where all of that cyan came from. A bunch of sheep. And it took so many times harvesting wool from all of them to make that gigantic tower there. Hello. Apparently they all like hanging out here by the well. The area of congregation. So underneath the tower is actually more of the original village. This used to be a library here. I, I took all the books from it when I was building my enchanting table. I even left a glass ceiling so they could still have some farm under here. There was even a church under here. The top of it got clipped for the tower, for the, the pillar there, but ye church of Stan, I, I guess this is Stan, I actually named the church before this guy showed up, and then as I was building more and more doors to encourage you know, population, this guy randomly generated. I didn't even know that could happen until it happened to me. So I guess that's Stan. You may be wondering why some of the buildings have those red stone torches over them. Because those are all the ones that have a ladder. You can actually get up to the, the real base of the pillar. 
which is just right on top of the village. You can see I tried to make some stained glass there, but couldn't really see the stained glass, so I just put the same color of wool behind it. It looks a little nicer. Yeah, looks pretty cool in here. Got a fountain going on. You got the emblems going on. Got a chandelier. This is the base of my cyan pillar, or the bottom level, rather. And up here, I built a silk generator. So basically, the spiders spawn in, they get killed by the cactus, and then they go down the hopper there into the chest at the bottom of the hopper. There's another chest there with some more hoppers. Those ones, that hopper just comes from this chest up here. Send to bottom level. And send some string down there. So that's the silk generator. And this cool glass shaft there. Definitely has a purpose too. Look at all those generators. Or spawners. I got all sorts of spawners in here. I even have a little viewing area. You can watch them fall down the shaft. It's interesting to, to engineer this generator thing because I had already built my cyan pillar. And I was like, oh, is that enough space for, for a generator? And it might have been if not for the ladder and stuff. So yeah, I kind of had to fit a generator in not quite enough space for a generator. I think I did okay. There's some ice right there. So the mobs will push the other mobs down into the shaft. There's a bed up top here. If we go all the way up top, whoop, then it's a lot easier to fall off because I did not put a guard on this one. I did on that one, but, but not on this upper one. There's no railing here, so you have to be careful. But yeah, that you can see there's a rail system going there. And on this side over here, there's the S line. It goes underground right there. You can't even see the next village. My render distance isn't high enough. I have it set to maximum, so I guess we're just high enough that the maximum doesn't seem like it's that far away. Think I can make it into that water? Yeah, better not. I used to be able to jump down into the, the water of the, the fountain. Back before I decided to put an experience generator in all of this empty space over my village. Yeah, these guys have guards, so I can't just walk off. There's an experience here. The door right there is because usually some experience gets stuck. I guess none of it did this time. Make sure they're all dead. Spiders usually don't survive the fall. That's okay, I've got other ways of getting silk. Descend down 
into my cyan pillar. Hey, guy. Watching the the sunset. What's up? So I have these torches up here designating the actual ways down. Because it gets easy to lose which side of the pillar you're on and stuff. So yeah, let's go through this into my little hidden area. Back before Donovan built the, the rail all the way to the mansion, I just had a little service rail between this village and my other village. So the beginning of the service rail st still exists. And it just connects to the other trail right here. So this is still part of my original service rail. But my the reason that I built this rail is to repopulate my other village. Because there was a massacre. Baby zombie killed the entire village. So I just, you know, pushed some villagers into a minecart. And I just didn't want the minecart above ground. I wanted it kind of protected and shielded. So I made a little underground area to transport villagers from one village to the other. This is my ziggurat village. This bottom layer just has a bunch of doors and buildings to you know, encourage population. Hello, dude. Librarian. Super leveled up librarian. So this is this is the original forge. I leveled the, the village except for the forge and the well. And then I built a multi level ziggurat here. So this upper level doesn't have much on it. Just a little lookout area. Lots of villagers congregating over here on this side. Ladders down to the, the first level. And then up top here, I got a farm going. I got a bunch of carrots earlier. But I had to re-record some stuff, so I'm back here. And I still have the carrots. I also don't have my diamonds anymore. I use them to repair my pickaxe. So now that's my treasure. And there's stairways down to this level. There's the station that I built after the fact. Oh wait, they were down in the corners. These ladders down to the bottom level. It's just that corner behind the forge that actually has a stairway up there. Let's go ahead and hop back in a cart and slip back on over to the cyan pillar. pretty safe part of the rail to, to travel at night. Nothing's going to get me down here. There's something right above there, but they're not getting me down here. Alrighty then, that just about does it for this video. You got to check out my gigantic cyan pillar and see what was actually inside of it. This is my station here. Suppose I'll show you that real quick here. I actually designed it to be really small, but then I had to expand it. 
this used to be the end of the line, but then we found out there was more. There was a temple down there and another village. So that's my third village, Tower Town, and the temple we've named Nether Temple. And back in the other direction, towards the original spawn point, is Crater Lakeshire and Tree Ziggurat. We're pretty much right here, at the center of the line. And the other, the Tree Ziggurat's like over here. It's not, it's not annotated right now. I don't even think it has a map there. But there's maps at these two points. Oh yeah. We had some other players in the realm, so I was using them to gather things. You'll, you'll find out a little bit of why I wanted those things in the next episode. When we travel to Tower Town. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode. See you later, Space Cowboys.